Hello, it's Diego here again. I'm going to be actually showing you how you can create an insane AI BAPI transient assistant, which is a complex assistant inside BAPI in less than 10 minutes. So yeah, let's hop on the computer. First thing you will need to do is you will need to go to BAPI, which you will find the link in the description, you know, so you can sign up and support the channel. You can just click or click the link current accounts and you know go to the dashboard right okay so once you're here in the dashboard which you'll find an overview what you're gonna do here is you're gonna first set up a phone number right so to add a phone number just go here and just add a phone number right either from Twilio or etc etc you can just add a phone number it's it's about two bucks a month right so once you add a phone number you're gonna go to the settings which are gonna be right here on uh, the settings you will actually go to make.com first and what you're going to do here is you're going to actually sign up as well and once you sign up you know you're going to create a new scenario so what you're going to do here is you're going to select a custom webhook we're going to just click uh add webhook and we're just going to add a random webhook whatever name you want want to do you're going to copy this address and you're just going to paste it right here in the settings where it says, you know, server URL, you're just gonna click server URL. You're just gonna copy and paste this. You know, add whatever secret you want. This doesn't really matter the secret, right? But we're gonna go over and create an assistant right now, right? So you're gonna click create a new assistant and your new assistant is gonna be whatever template you wanna use. I'm gonna just gonna use appointment setter to make this really quickly. So this is gonna be Mary. And as you can see, Mary, we can talk to Mary already. And as you can see, here's a cost, here's a latency, whatever. Right, I'm going to put CBT40 cluster just so it actually speaks a little bit better and, and it's a little bit smarter. So you have knowledge base, you can add whatever you want. If you have files that can, can turn your assistant, you can add them right here. I'm just going to set the temperature to 0.5, which basically makes the assistant less creative and more, you know, data based. I'm just going to put the max token set to 250. That's good. I'm just going to click detect emotion so that it detects the user emotion and you're going to put the, the, the first message, right? Hello, this is Mary from Mary Zento. How can I assist you today? There's a voice state, uh, agent assistant from Mary Zento. This is gonna be the template for the for the assistant, right? We're just gonna set this to okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna go over with this. You can modify the system prompt however you want, but these are just the instructions for your AA voice assistant, which you can modify later anyways, right? What you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to the transcriber, you're gonna just I recommend this. This is pretty good already. So yeah, deep round Martin Noble 2 English language is going to be English or if you're using another language, I'm going to create another video on how you can set that up as well. But yeah, English, if not, you can just select another, another type of language, right? As for the voice, I recommend to use 11 labs or if not Azure, Azure right here. And I'm just going to use Sarah for this example, right? Sarah is pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at Sarah. And if you want to change that, that is also going to be changed in the code as well, if you want. So as for the model, I'm going to just uh, select 11 Turbo B2, which is going to be pretty good already. Um, so yeah, as for additional configuration, we're just going to uh, background sound. We're going to put an office sound, which will add a uh, sound like where the like our assistant is in an actual office. And we're just going to put uh, set this to Mm -mm -mm -mm. we're gonna set this to two and and this to point three okay i found this works perfect so i'm just gonna set this to 0.5 and 0.5 and that's gonna be good already right speaker boost uh, i'm just gonna set this to on and go over to functions and functions well we're not gonna do, go over functions i have a detailed uh you know function video on my on my youtube channel which you can go over and watch that i'm just gonna go to the advanced settings and you know H H H I P A complaints. You can set this to off. Recording enable. We want to actually access the recording, so we're just gonna set this to on. And then what we're gonna do is silence timeout. It's gonna be the set this to 30 seconds. Respond delay. And you're gonna set this to zero. Uh, LLM zero. This is just to reduce the time it takes to actually respond. So maximum duration. That's pretty cool already. So as for the server URL. We're just gonna leave this to blank. I'm just gonna, there's another video that goes over this as well, which, you know, this sends at the actual transcript. But yeah, once we're done, you know, with our assistant, we're just gonna remain the two to Sarah 2.0, something like this, because I already have another Sarah. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna click publish. And what I'm gonna do now is just, I'm just gonna go to here. And to make that comment, I'm just gonna add a, a temporary HTTP, uh, make a request uh, kind of kind of thing right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is the method is gonna be post. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the documentation. I'm gonna go to the API reference, HTTP, the ID, and then, you know, your authorization. So what we're gonna do here is the assistant and we're gonna add the assistant ID, which will be right here, right? Sarah 2.0, you just copy the assistant ID, just click this, right? And this will be a get request because we need to get the assistant, right? As for the headers, you will need to add, you know, your authorization token. And then you will add your API token, your bear token, which is gonna be on the private API, which will be on, on your settings, right? I'm just gonna get mine with, and I'm gonna be making a cut so that you can't see that, okay? So once you have your, your token, you need to paste it right here. And once you have it pasted, you click okay. And we're just gonna run this module only. And it's supposed to work. As you can see, status code 200 and you get your assistant back. Once you get your assistants back, of course, we don't know what the fuck is this. So we need to actually use it and uh, parse it in JSON format. So you're just gonna go to, uh, to Google and just go to JSON editor online. What you're gonna do is click one for full screen and you're just gonna delete some of this and you're gonna actually copy and paste whatever you got right here, right? So let's just reopen this. I'm just gonna copy this right, right, right here. And we're just gonna copy and paste this, like I said. I'm just gonna copy and paste this and just click format. And as you can see, uh, the, 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 the next thing we're gonna do is remove a few things, right? First, we're gonna remove uh, this created at and updated at. This is gonna be the first thing we're gonna remove. And then we're gonna be removing the ID and the organization ID. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't need to remove anything else. Aside from the server URL request set, we also need to remove this. And we're gonna click auto repair. We have the code ready, so we're ready to you know answer with a webhook response. So yeah, let's go over here and let's set a webhook response. So the other thing we need to add here to our JSON is gonna be the assistant function right here, which is gonna be right here. So what we need to do here is just go here and add it right here, you know, the assistant, which is gonna be a uh, assistant right here. And we're gonna add something right down here. It's gonna be right there, right? And that's pretty much it. We have all the code ready and we're gonna go back to make.com and we're actually gonna, you know, custom headers and the key is gonna be content type. It's gonna be JSON. It's gonna be application slash JSON. Okay. So after you do this, you're gonna go over to body and you're just gonna click copy and paste over here from JSON editor. And we're gonna click run once to see if this actually works out, right? Now we can actually go over here to Sarah and we can now remove this assistant because we don't really need it. Uh, Cause we already have the transient base assistant right here on our Megacom workflow, right? So I've just called the assistant with my phone. As you can see, we can go over here to the BAPI dashboard and you, we, we can hear the actual sound. What about you? What can I help so you with today? let's go Hello, here. This is Hello, this is Mary from Mary's Dental. How can I assist you today? As you can see, this is our assistant. Hey, Mary, how are you doing? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? What can I help you with today? Okay, that's enough. As you can see, this assistant is actually working. So what happened is when I called, it went over here. It got the, uh, you know, it got to know the, that a person was calling and then we returned the call with our, you know, with our transient base assistant. This template will be down below. And for example, you, let's say you wanna modify the voice, you can go over here, you can check the voice code and you can just change the name here, etc. Let's say you wanna modify the prompt, you can just go here and, you know, change the prompt right here. What I like to do here in between is add different variables. Like for example, if I want to add a CRM, I can just add an Airtable CRM, you know, to search for records based on a number, et cetera. 
And yeah, you can get pretty creative with what you put in, in, the, in the middle here. I have a video where I show you everything that you need to be adding in terms of functions as well. A function, you will call it, you know, for example, when the user wants to see the availability of a calendar, that's going to be a function. You also need to get the transcript. This is just going to be a simple tutorial, how you can start it as soon as possible, you know, building this insane mod. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. You know, you are seeing the potential of this kind of technology right here in front of you. And you know, I just show you how to set one of these spots up either for you or for your business, or even if you're selling these kinds of solutions to other businesses, like I said, templates are going to be down below in the description. And don't forget to sign up with the links down below. It really helps. Okay. That was it for today. If you want, you can like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, bye-bye. See you in the next video.